Hey guys, Billy here. We're gonna we're gonna try to play some Bologna today. It's gonna be interesting. Up against a Freya. I don't care about immune, and that's too slow. Torsion's great. Venator's obviously pretty good. Chaos spawn. Is really excellent against Surtur, so I'll probably try to save that for a Surtur. And of course, Ascentius is excellent. I mean, Venator is insane as well, so pretty good draws. I'm gonna take the high road. And I don't think there's any reason to play this up. I'm pretty sure Freya's gonna walk up, right? There's no reason to get a kit. So let's play it back there. I think that's my best bet. Going first and having a, a two mana play is really, really strong. So, I mean, that's about the only way Bologna's gonna win a game. That's weird. They still show up blue, um, even when it's red. That could be fixed. All right, let's see what he plays. It's gonna banish on two mana. Oh wow, that's super passive. Um, well, this is pretty much guaranteed, right? I'm gonna move here. No reason to let him through. If I play Venator, then can he get? Can he even get to that? He can get to it there, but he'd need exactly fire ramp. And then he'd be putting his Freya way out of position. Well, not out of position. Be good for that play, obviously. Would you keep Fire Imp against Bologna? I think you would. Would you run Fire Imp? Would you have played it last turn? No, I don't think so. But I can always play it here, and it still has the same effect. But again, it still dies to Fire Imp, and this is the better position for the leader. So that's, uh, that's my final answer. I like my ability more than his, so I'm not going to whack him. I want to preserve my blown ability for late game. It's a pretty bad position for him. He's not mousing over any of those cards either. Keep an eye out there. Okay, so he's mousing over our right hand one, which is fate. And that hit the Venator, which is really, really good for him. That's the on, that's the only target he needed to hit. One, two, three. Well, that was one, two, three, four, five targets. And he had two shots, so two out of five that he hits. Good for him. There's the soul. No buff on it though, so I'm not too concerned. What does he have with zero? Blink. Okay then. Can I remove soul? No. Well, no. I can't. That's really lucky that that fate hit that. That's unfortunate. Um, so now I, I could Bologna Hero Power Sign of Doom, which isn't awful. Then I could push three damage. And probably attack the stone. 
and it gives me a 1-4 with ranged that I don't have to have adjacent to anything against the soul. I actually like that. I probably should have moved Bologna here, actually. That was a misplay. I'm gonna take one, one point of damage for that. This doesn't deal with the soul, but I'm confident that the most dangerous thing the soul can do is be spawned with a surter or with a frenzy. He can do more damage than I can, so I do need to remove this. That's a four. I think that's a fine silence target. Unfortunately, they're all adjacent to each other. Again with the Bologna placement, I should have stayed back one. Put that in range. Unfortunately, it also means he can hit the stone, but that's okay. If he splits up right now, he loses the game. Because of Dishonorable. He should just push stone damage, honestly. Yeah. I think that's correct. I think the soul should probably also go to stone damage. Unless he's got, like, frenzy he's trying to save for, but then he should just play the frenzy. So he doesn't have frenzy. I don't think he has surter either. So what has he got? Like, Scotty? Uh, web of Word, maybe? Probably has a Web of Word. Fatalis, okay. So soul dies. He knows that. I think, okay, he banished that. I was going to say, if he whacks that, that's a mistake. He's going to whack the stone. He's fishing for damage. So... Regardless, this kills that, and then probably Dishonorable. So do I actually remove this? So Bologna removes Soul, Dishonorable. No, because I need both Bologna and that to remove that. Right. So Soul lives. You don't hit next turn anyway. I'll have at least three attack on the board. And you're banished. So you'll be back down. Can I guarantee that I can kill the Thor? I think I can, because he'll only have two health. So... You stay here. Do that. We're gonna Dishonorable. also blocks the Thor from getting in this way. One, two, three. Yeah, he can't even move Refreyos. 
this means that basically next turn Freya dies and Thor dies. And I've also got a silence in case he plays Surtur, which is pretty much his only out right now, in my opinion. Surtur and Frenzy. And he doesn't have any ranged, so that's pretty tricky too. I'd like that uh, <laughs> that deal damage summon, summon Venator spell in list, 5 mana. I'd like that about now. That's a pretty good draw. And I could Bologna ability that too. It's, this is going to vanish the 3 6, which is really good. I've got the 2 4, trading the 4 2. Or I can just Archer. I think that's a mistake. I don't think he should have traded there. Okay, he's going to kill Bologna, but that's okay. Now I can kill his 4 1. Scotty Calder down. I still have a Chaos Spawn for a Surtur. Hercules is an interesting draw. Okay, well I'm pretty sure no matter what, you're moving back. I'm killing the 4-1. You're killing the 1-1. One, one. Now I've got 7 mana to play with. So I should probably Bologna the Sentious. Bologna I don't think he can win from here. These guys both thwack everything. Not that it matters because he doesn't have any stuff. And his Freya's dead, so everything he plays is going to be way back here, the right side of the screen. Let's play one Fatalis. Oh, did I just. That's a thing. Oh, that's tricky. that's infinite range now in 2 mana, when it used to be 3 mana, 4 range. Alright. Armaments is pretty decent here, actually. So, I can hurt armor armaments, which is pretty good. I think that's the play. Which means I won't have any mana anyway, so there's no point in doing trade second. For science, I'm going to see if this goes to, to health. I don't think it does. It actually dies. Nice. The more you know. Um, I actually do want to protect my Bologna. It's actually worth thinking about Bologna Hero powering a Hercules. Is that better? I think that's actually better. Makes him scarier against Loki. Because otherwise you can... Just Loki Frenzy and kill him. Mimir! charge. Oh, my poor Hercules. That's unfortunate. He's had kind of a mid-rangey tinge to it. Then with the with the unit. There's the hunter sigil. He's not going to get punished by dishonorable again, but I'm pretty sure I only have one in this deck. Yeah, I only have one. Gonna 
banish someone again? No, they can't. No mana. What's he looking to do? Blink someone again? <laughs> oh, you okay? Alright. Two, five, eight. Yeah, probably bull on a hero powering. It's also worth worth thinking about chaos spawning the Ymir, which is what I'm considering. Will that Ymir kill me? It actually might. I don't really have an easy way to remove it. I think I might have to chaos spawn the Ymir. Okay, well three six is moving here. Two, three. Play it up. Silent Sam. I forgot to blow on the hero that I can then complete. Okay, we're gonna play Thunder as well. And we're gonna move you up. Bologna. It's not working. Bring the pace. I have one ranged, but it only does three damage, so. Ymir's gonna be chilling. This is really scary against Surga. Like really scary, but apparently he still doesn't have it. Bring it on. Order? I suppose it stuns him anyway. Like if this Hercules Bring gets him stunned. Well obviously he's not gonna be stunned because Ymir's silenced. Next turn I can Gladiator, Hero Power, Sagittarius, for a Bring lot of And this Hercules is gigantic. He's gonna banish the gigantic Hercules. Why did he just threw like three autos for no reason there? You, you can't get your Emir through there. Not sure what he's doing. If he walks the Emir around there. He's got one, two, three, one, two, three, so you can get there in two turns. Jesus. Which is Thor. What is that last card? Okay, well, regardless, I'm killing as many of these tiny piece of crap as I can. You're definitely hero building. Abilitating? No. Abilitating. Because I can play them both anyway. Um, you're also definitely moving up. You are moving here. You are moving here. You can trade into either of these for free, actually. I'm gonna move you there. Kill that one. Gladiators can come down there. And Sagittarius. which is pretty good. You're gonna trade here. You're gonna trade here. If his Ymir dies, he loses the game. Because I can walk through, kill this stone with the Hercules, one, two, bang, and this stone is dead. Even if he kills that, 
can deal three. He obviously has not drawn frenzies or sorters this game. Which is kind of why I'm destroying the space. Okay, so you two are killing him. Unfortunate, spawned it way back there. But what can we do? I'm more worried about the range than I am about the one six. For both top decking. But I have better board control. Unless he draws frenzy, in which case I still would have better board control, I think. kill my Bologna probably which is okay um, most expensive card in my deck is a Hercules so I, I can still play Bologna and Hercules I can't hero power but mm, whatever I have no idea what card he has that's still dead that doesn't make any sense what is that card it's a unit what kind of unit Curse Warriors? Calder? Might be Calder. Oh, it's a mirror. He must have just drawn it and I'm uh, not paying close enough attention. Well, I can Gladiator Bologna Hero Power. <laughs> no, I should remove the Sumir.
Barcelona is so bad. in my deck. I have a Cupid. I have, oh, I have a win. <laughs> GG. That was a fun game, even if Bologna is just like the worst class in the world.